they're always, you know, um, it's obviously I think a rivalry game. You know, there, there's um, some a, a bit involved there. You play them every year, you know, regardless. So not a lot of secrets between the two teams and you know two two talented tough hard-nosed teams that want to have a certain style of play i think and they, they obviously uh typically always have high level pitching um, so that leads to a lot of close games what's the approach as a hitter when, when iowa especially this year they have a lot of swing and miss stuff but they're maybe not afraid to get out some walks too. yeah i mean Kind of a fine line at the plate. You, you don't want to go to the plate passive. You don't want to go looking for a walk because then you, you, you give up some good pitches to hit. Um, you just have to do a good job depending on what type of pitcher is on the mound uh, to what, where's his typical miss, what's that look like, and, and knowing kind of what that looks like and, and knowing where your kind of window is of, to get the pitches that are, that are hittable and just make sure you're ready to, you know, to hit those type pitches. Does it feel like you know, given how last year's series went, that this one has a bit more meaning to try to find some sort of payback? No, not at all. I mean, this is these are games we need to win regardless. So I, you know, what happened a calendar year ago just really doesn't have, you know, any bearing on how we're going to prepare to go play. I mean, we we certainly want to we want to win every game we can, and we've got half of our conference season left to go try to um, finish at the top of the standings. So um, I'm not really thinking much about, um, you know. Uh, calendar year ago, really. Weather does not look good this weekend. Will you guys have planned A, B, C, D, E, F, and G? Yeah, I mean it seems that way every every time we have home games. We've got to got to make sure we we look at the weather pretty closely. I mean we've got the added uh, extra events going on here with a spring game this weekend and um, TV on Saturday. So I I think we're going to be fine. There's going to be some thunderstorms. So obviously going to be lightning in the area. So that might be something that delays us a little bit. Um, could we possibly push tomorrow night's game back to miss weather? I think that could be a possibility. We'll just see what the what the forecast looks like tomorrow. We do have also some flexibility on Sunday with Iowa busing. Yeah, so that gives us a little bit better shot on Sunday to to get the game in. And and you know even if we don't have a window on Saturday, because you know we're not really going to be able to push the game up because of the spring game um, and TV. So do we have a long enough window to get two in if we need it? I don't know that we do on Saturday. So, um, but like I said, we have that flexibility Sunday. If we, if we need to play at 4 p.m., you know, we could, we could potentially you do could that. You could double on Sunday? Well, I'm just saying we could play later if we needed to to try to beat, because I just don't know there may not be a, a big window for two games on any day. The players say at least they have ping pong to kill time in, in the clubhouse. How do, you, how do you kill time? How much do you hate delays? Well, yeah, I mean, it's um, – you just kind of find ways to kill time. We do have MLB TV in the office now, so you can log into Major League Game. And, um, yeah, the players, they, they've got the, the ping pong in there that they can keep them occupied. And, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's part of baseball, though. I mean, you play an outdoor sport, um, you know, you're going to have thunderstorms you, you deal with and sometimes even snowstorms. Coach, last time we talked to you this week, you said this time last week, you said Sunday would be a TBD. What's yeah. the plan for the rotation? We'll, yeah, we'll we'll go Walsh Sunday this week. Um, so we'll have we'll have Sears and McConaughey and then Walsh this week. Anything that, that impacted that decision? I think just the way Walsh threw last week and, and uh, you know, just kind of what what we're looking at uh, moving forward is that he's he's been a reliable guy out there and it, you know, you don't didn't necessarily have to be perfect, but just can he get us off to a good start? And I thought he did that last Sunday, and um, you know I think he's he's gonna have a chance to do that again. As an offshoot to that, what was the message to, to Drew after Tuesday's out? Well, uh, you know obviously you're not gonna you can't let an inning snowball on you like that. And I think that's been a little bit of the Achilles' heel with Drew. I mean his his slider was really good, and and then it just went away. Um, you know how can you find that consistency piece of it? Does it need to come from being in the bullpen? Maybe that's maybe that's the case. Maybe we can see him in a shorter stint. Because I thought I thought he he did have his velo there. Um, he obviously got a lot of swing and miss from a really good Kansas team that doesn't strike out much early in that game. Um, could he do that in a short shorter stint out of the pen? I think we might see that. You know, and see if he can get some confidence that way. Despite the Tuesday loss. RPI is still looking good, and KU is a good team. But yeah. how do you not get in your head like flashbacks from last year? Like, why do we have to drop these midweek games? I'm, I mean, until you can actually do something about it, like you've got to, those thoughts are there. I mean, it, it's 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 not like we're going into those games and playing sloppy baseball. That's the thing. I, I it's been frustrating. It's not like we're, you're going and, and not showing up to compete. I mean, we've had a chance to score early in games. I mean. 
they made a great play in the first inning or we're going to score, you know, right out of the chute, you know, like, you know, we're not making three errors a game and, you know, just not looking disinterested to play. I mean, I think that's the difference for me right now is that we've lost a game in the ninth inning. <laughs> you know, we've um, we had a lead in, in a couple of other games and didn't hold them. And, and Kansas, you know, I mean, they've got a really good offense and they put it on us um, Tuesday. I, I don't think it was a case of really us not playing well. We didn't pitch well in two innings and that's why we lost. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm frustrated by it. I want to win every game. I. You know, it's not like we're going into those games going, well, well, we'll see if this works with this guy today. I mean, you know, only certain guys are available to pitch. And um, it's just it's those extra couple of innings there where we've got to try to minimize the mistakes to, you know, to get the, the balls hand up. And also, you you know, you can't look up in the seventh inning and have three runs on five hits either. As many hard balls as you might hit and as many innings as you set up, you've got to knock those innings down. You guys have to be really excited with Jalen and what he's brought out of the bullpen for you, especially you know his last couple outings have been pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, he's been he's been a guy we've been eager to get the ball to, um, and I think you've seen that on Fridays. He's been kind of the first guy uh, to get the ball. The stuff's good. The velo's good. He's he's competitive. Um, he wants to he wants to be in those situations, and I think the team feels really confident with him on the mound because he has really good mound presence. A month left in the year ish. What, what are you still looking to learn about this team at this point? Well. Yeah, I mean, I think part of who, you know, any good team, you know, you have, you're going to have moments in the season where things aren't, the breaks aren't going your way, where you're not, you know, winning games that maybe you won, you know, earlier in the season, but great teams always find a way to finish strong, you know, so that that's our, that's our goal is we, we've got half the conference season left. Um, we've got, you know, a handful of midweek games left. Um, can we finish strong? Because if we can start strong and finish strong, then you've got a chance to be a, a championship type team. Um, but we've got to flip that script a little bit. But, you know, again, can you continue to win on the weekends? If you continue to win on the weekends, you've got a chance to win the league. What stands out about Iowa this year? Is it a team that looks like it started to turn the corner? Yeah. What, what do you think? I, I think so. I mean, I think they're playing as good as they've played all year right now. Um, they've got obviously three high level high level starters. I think they're starting to figure some things out in the bullpen. They have a, a lineup that hits over 300. Um, they can steal bases, they lay down bunts. They got they do some things offensively um, that make you defend them. Um, yeah, I think they're playing as good as they're, they've played all year um, right now. And, and uh, it's obviously gonna be a huge challenge. Will, I've noticed you guys don't throw the ball around the horn. Yeah. Uh, after strikeouts, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, that's something that Coach Childers, um, he he kind of implemented that. I want to say five or five years ago, maybe at A and M, um, just stopped doing it. Two reasons, I think. Number one, at the time we had a catcher that wasn't good at it, <laughs> so we just stopped doing it and stopped throwing the ball into left field. Uh, and I think just two, just to keep the game flow going of just. Um, getting the ball back in the pitcher's hands and, and him ready to throw the ball instead of walking around the mound thinking about, you know, what's going on before the next pitch. I think, um, and he asked me, you know, when he became the pitching coach, are you good if we stop throwing the ball around the horn again? I said, I don't care. It doesn't, I doesn't, one way or the other, it doesn't matter to me. Pitchers like it? I mean, that's less time for them to breathe before the next step back. I haven't asked him. <laughs> Brett was also the bat boy. On Tuesday, yeah, for the first half of the game, that's something he usually does. He has, he's done that, um, and typically when he's done it, we scored a lot of runs, and that's why he did it on Tuesday. Unfortunately, it didn't work out as much as well for us. But yeah, he's when we don't have Bodie or Austin there, uh, Brett's usually one of the first ones to volunteer.